All right, so now you have seen the inspirational picture. Um, and I've also printed out a copy right here so you can um, you can see and I can explain to you exactly uh, what I was inspired to do. So this is it, and it is a pocket letter. And I was inspired to make two, um, I guess, create two projects. <laughs> One is still um, in the process, and then I'll show you. Well, I guess they both in the process. Whatever, I'll show you. One was the donut, and the second was the pocket letter itself. So that is the inspiration right there. So um, it inspired me when I was looking at the picture to uh, remind me that I had this donut that you know Hobby Lobby had on clearance um, a couple of weeks ago, months ago. I don't know, whenever. But I never used it, so I wanted to try it out. Now the instructions for this leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, like really, physics. Come on now. But, um, so I was inspired to use this. And so I looked on YouTube to try to find, you know, somebody who um, gave instructions. I did, and she did a fantastic job, but it just wasn't working out for me. So I decided to do something else. Still inspired by the donut, so I made my own donut. <laughs> and I used the, uh, my circle, um, my circle dies. And, uh, and then some of the pieces in here, so like this, um, layer icing type thing I use, and then also the, uh, sprinkles. And I think I did use that circle one in the middle right there. I just don't want this to fall out. People are tearing all up. And I did use it. And then I did use these stamps right here. I just um, need some stamps that I had and they got the dies to them. But I just used this little donut that's running away right here. <laughs> it's like a, I guess a donut or a sweet treat type stamp. So this is what I um, used for this first project. And here it is. And here go my donuts. <laughs> so... Like I said, I did use those circles. You know how you just leave a little bit of the edge hanging off so it'll, it won't separate? So I made this right here. You can see it's got the green base, red, and white icing, and then the, the sprinkles on there. And then I have the white walker right in the old note or, you know, whatever in there. And this is where I stamped that donut at. And this is just the colors are reversed right here. And I still have that same stamp I put down there at the bottom. So that's how I was inspired to do that one was to make some... um. Christmas donuts. <laughs> so that was my first project, and I say, and so my second project, I am doing, I am in a Christmas extravaganza swap, but it's not due until um, it's doing um, December. So I decided to start early because I didn't just want to make a pocket letter or just whatever and not have anything to do with it. So now this, the pocket letter is not complete; it has been started. I'm just trying to give you an idea of a, uh, you know, where I'm going at with it and what I was inspired to do, which is far starting. This particular pocket letter. So this is the paper pad that I use, which is Mary Everything, which is a hot buy from Michaels, I think last year. So this is what I'm using. And I'll be using this for the, the whole um, Christmas extravaganza swap itself. So then, of course, um, you're going to see it here in the pocket letter. So put that to the side. So here is the start of my pocket letter, because I have a lot of other ideas that I want to uh, put on here and some um, other stuff. So... It's just the start of it. Now, like I said, it happened until the middle pretty much of next month. So, um, I have time. But I just wanted to make sure I got it started. So, I'm just going to go through a little bit of the pieces that I already have. That way I can put those dies up to and try to clean up my space. And um, maybe, you know, some other ideas that I had going on here. So, you can see the background, which is the um, the paper from the um, designer paper. I'm thinking I might put some um, sequence in here. I haven't decided yet. So, let's just go through here. On this pocket, I think I got two. Oh, here we go. So I did two typewriters right here, and I have them stamped. I did one in, and I used this, this stamping pad from Stampin' Up, which is the Raspberry Ripple. And so, matter of fact, let me just go through everything I used over here. Then I, I can go through the um, the pocket letter. So I used this Pecan Santa, and you can see he is right there. I did use some of my Spectrum War markers right there. So that's the um, Santa, and I'm thinking about putting him right there. I haven't decided yet, or I might just put him down there. Options, love it. And so I did use that. Um, this is a Seasons Greeting stamp, which I have cut out right here in this aqua teal color, and then also in the maroon. Uh, this stamp right here I want to use. I'm put the paper over here, but I um, I did stamp it and color it, but. The green on here is not quite sitting well with me. I don't like this green to match my paper. So the red um, I've used already on it, and I'll show you here in a minute where I used that. So that's okay, but I'm going to change that green color in here. So I'm going to stamp him again and um and uh, recolor him. 
And as you can see on there, I'm not sure, hopefully you can see, you got the little bird sitting up there. You can see it better on the picture because I thought it was actually sitting on this hat, but it's not. So that's, so I got a little bird that I could uh, pop on something. So that's that stamp set. Um, these poinsettias here, and you see I just have them right here, and I actually just put one of these little pearls um, in the middle of that. And I was thinking about putting them there like that because I had him right there. It's kind of like in that idea. Um, I use these stamps right here. You can see they're like four window stamps. And I did, even though I did, um, here go two right here that I have not um, colored yet that I'm going to get to. But these are the two that I did. So this one here, the mother and the son waving out the window with the little dog and stuff. And then this is the second one. Hope you can see that. So I'm liking these softer colors. They match the paper better. And that's what I'm thinking about using for this Santa Claus. So maybe either that light blue or that. I'm thinking probably that light green. So that's what I'm going to have to stamp and do him over. Alrighty. And so then for this one right here, these two candy canes. I use this Elizabeth Craft Designs die. Which is this one and this one. And I don't think I ever did a, um, a haul on it. But I did go to the Scrapbooking Expo. When I go in September, the one they had in Akron, I think it was September, maybe October the 6th, I went, yeah. And that they had in Akron, and this is one of the dies that I got. Right there. It was so crazy. Now they got it on AliExpress. <laughs> but anyway, and so um, this right here is a um, typewriter with the die, and then I use this typewriter with the die, and, it's, and I use the Hello Friend and then the Note It right there, and then that's these two right here. So the hello friend that's the one stamp and then this is the noted right there this right here i just cut it was a tag in the extra paper pad that i um that i just cut the bear out and then i left this little part because you know you could always stick that as a little tag or tab or something right there so i use this um happy holidays as you can see right here on this one so i use this die to cut the tag out and then I put this in the middle right there and cut it. And on the back, you can see where it's just, um, I put the paper right there to get so the color could show through. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But I you know you can hang it off of there or something like that. So I haven't decided. But I thought it was cute and I just wanted to try that out. Alrighty. And so then I have these um, dies right here. That I'm using, I'm using the one that says um, Santa stop here, Rudolph this way. But I'm gonna use the North Pole, and that's why I have those sitting right there. Cause I'm, you know, how it has a little pole in the sign, the little aerial arrow. That's what I want to do right there. Um, let's see. So this is naughty or nice. Um, I don't see the stamps. I mean, not the stamps, but the die. Um, it's around here somewhere. Here we go. Which is right here, and he's just a naughty or nice um, die set right there. And so I cut it out in white and maroon. Because so I'm thinking that, you know, naughty or nice. Maybe put some little boxes. I haven't decided yet with that. But I want to get that cut out. So let me see here. So this right here um, was another die set that I used. And you, um, I don't think I showed you. But here go this little ribbon right here. I cut this out in some maroon and the white. There go that, um, this stocking. With you know, the little pieces that you put on there. And then these little trees is actually this little tree right here. And I don't know if I have them out here. But I did also cut some of like these little leaves right here in white. And then I think that's all I used on here. Oh, and I did cut out some of this little tags right here. But I haven't used any yet. So I'm not sure what I'm going to stamp on there. Nice like 25 or something or a 2 and a 5. I think also about using this Noel. But okay. And so this right here, these pieces are um, right here. Part of this cheerful tax thinlet die from um, Stampin' Up. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure about hauls because I don't do a lot of hauls. I really don't. Um, when I went to that estate sale a couple of months ago, this is one of the pieces that I had got from there. So I wanted to try them out. So. That's this right here. So it's almost less like a bottle 
thing. You can put some ribbon through there, and it's just like a little tad. You can put the ribbon through, and then this is a bigger one. So, cut those out to possibly use. Mm, and I think that is all I have right now. Like I said, this is going to be part of a bigger project. So, sometime next month, you will see the, the completed pocket letter and the other items with the um, Christmas extravaganza. But this is what I was inspired to make when I did see that picture start on this pocket letter. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to go check out all the other ladies and be inspired by the you know this picture here. By something I showed you or by something that the other ladies show you. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.